So you're probably like me. You've jumped into Vanguard and every single lobby is only STG 44s. Now, why is that? Probably because it's the most ranked up weapon for a lot of people because you could rank it up beforehand in Warzone before the game even launched. And weapon leveling comes along with a lot of good attachments. Weapon solid itself, but how can you match that? How can you rank up all of your weapons as fast as possible so you don't have to just use those one, two weapons that you're seeing now everywhere in Vanguard? Today, we're going to break down the best ways and most efficient ways to rank up your weapons and make the best of your time here in Vanguard. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Is there anything in particular that we maybe missed on this list of tips that can help you rank up your weapons faster? Anything you find insightful that maybe you never thought of, feel free to let me know down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's aim for 2,000 likes on this video you guys have been crushing it lately thank you guys so much for the continued support i truly appreciate it and if you guys are new to the channel and want to stay up to date with all things vanguard all things that we have here coming over not only just this launch weekend but for the months coming into the future we got a lot up on deck so if you guys are part of that 60 percent of viewers that are not subscribed and you'd like to join us on that road to half a million subscribers i'd love to have you in the community and keep you informed that said let's jump into the best ways to rank up your weapons in call of duty vanguard so those stg 44s that you're running into and other weapons like that you're seeing a lot of them initially because because that's something that players have leveled up to level 70 already from day one or in some cases day zero. That's such a big advantage because leveling, as with every year, takes quite a bit of time within Vanguard and ranking up all those weapons, not only just for your camos, but to get the most optimal builds for things takes time. But that's where I want to help kind of expedite that process, talk about the most efficient and the fastest ways possible that you can rank up your weapons. And of course, the very first base tip here is kind of boring. It's simply to play the game. Game. Find what works best for you in terms of pacing, what you feel you can get the most kills in, and things alike. So, as with Modern Warfare, the XP grind isn't necessarily terrible, but it's still a grind no less. For me, I've been playing a ton of Blitz for the main primary reason of simply having more targets to shoot at. If I end up getting more kills, that expedites that process. That's more XP directly correlated to and ranking up the specific weapon that I'm using in that particular match. If you play traditional 6v6, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but you may be getting half the kills, a third of the kills, two thirds of the kills that you may be getting normally within Blitz. Blitz. So if that in fact is the case, per match you're not going to be getting as much XP yield for those specific weapons. So that's why I end up jumping into Blitz, optimizing the possibility for the XP cap. The ceiling is much higher in my opinion. But with Vanguard, we're introduced to a few new things, some features that can directly help that XP grind out for your weapons a little bit further. Some of the stuff we talked about briefly in yesterday's video because it also conveniently correlates with the standard ways that you can rank up your level faster, but we're going to be focusing more so on the weapon XP side if there is any overlap with that. But first and foremost, let's take a look at those operators and those favorite weapons. This is something that I found myself now looking back actually not taking as much advantage of as I definitely should have. Now, admittedly, this isn't something that will help you out with every single weapon. We have 38 weapons at launch here within Vanguard, but as you know, or if you check out, there's only 12 operators right now within the game. Now, that's likely going to change here in the future. We're probably going to see three to four operators introduced every single season, as we've seen with Modern Warfare, as we've seen with Black Ops Cold War. That post-launch content seems to follow the same patterns and isn't anything that should be of a major surprise, but right now you have 12 weapons that you can jump into immediately. Those being Daniel, whose favorite weapon is the M1 Garand, Wade, whose favorite weapon is the Type 100, Halima's favorite is the MP40, Polina, hers is the three-line rifle. Solange is the NZ-41. Shiganori's favorite is the Type 11. Roland is the STG-44. Lucas is the Owen gun. Beatrice is the AS-44. Arthur is the Sten. Constanz is the MG-42. And Padmavati's is the combat shotgun. So if you're leveling any one of those, make sure that you end up either first unlocking that operator, or if you already have them unlocked, make sure you're equipping them as well while you're going to progress that weapon. Why you do this is that because if you end up using that operator plus their favorite weapon, you end up getting that XP boost for not only your overall rank, but also that weapon entirely and everything you do as long as you have both of those equipped. It's not something that will only last a couple of days or a weekend or something like that. You can take as much time as you want. You can start a weapon and pick it up three, four weeks later. You'll still 
have that XP boost that comes along with it. Now, say you're like me, you've been using the wrong operator, but you want to get some XP for that weapon. It's actually not the end of the world if you keep ranking up that operator and you're not using the weapon that is their preferred. In fact, it's something that still rewards you passively. If you take a look at any of the operators, this year we end up having the ability to see what that next level brings along with it. Like how we saw a little bit with Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War, but we can go up all the way into our weapon ranks and even into our operator ranks as well. You can cycle through everything from level 1 to 20 and see all of those rewards that you end up getting. And along that way, whatever the preferred weapon that you end up having for that operator is, a couple of times you'll see that there is a little bit of XP granted for simply ranking up that operator. So you don't even have to end up using the weapon that is their preferred weapon. You can still get, in say, Lucas's case, Owen Gun XP without ever actually using the Owen Gun. And hilariously, I'm pretty sure this actually ends up working even if you do not have the weapon unlocked. So a nice little boost right off the bat here for just simply using different operators. Don't stick to just one because not only does it not help your XP level for your overall rank, your operator rank, but also your weapon ranks. Next tip that I would highly recommend for ranking up your weapons is, if possible, complete camo challenges while you rank up the weapon itself. Every five to 10 levels within Vanguard, you end up getting a new set of 10 camos, which is 10 different challenges you can end up getting, all coming with more XP available for your overall rank and as such, additionally ranking up your weapon. So not only helping your camo grind out, making it a little bit more efficient and streamlined going for camos as you actually unlock them, but it helps you rank up that weapon additionally. Now in game, even, there is something that can help you out here that I'm pretty sure is on every single weapon, that being the surplus weapon kit. Now, if you're solely focused on leveling weapons and your overall rank, this is a great thing and something that really doesn't penalize you in any way, shape, or form for running it. Weapon kits are, of course, that sort of weapon perk that we have this year, but also don't necessarily hurt you in any way, shape, or form. You also have your proficiencies as well for weapons, so you kind of have like two weapon perks that you can end up getting at one single time. Normally, I end up running something like fully loaded because I love having ammo. I love being able to free up my tier three perk. But at the same time, if I'm focused on simply ranking up my weapons and overall XP, I'm going to end up putting the surplus weapon perk on this granting additional XP per kill with zero trade off whatsoever. There is no con here to this. It's just an added bonus you can put on. So surplus giving you that additional XP for kills when equipped, that'll help you over time shave off a little bit of time as well while ranking up that weapon. Additionally, when it comes to in-game, like we've talked about yesterday, Champion Hill, just like being great for your overall rank XP, seem to be even better for your weapon XP. I'm gonna have to go in and test this out a little bit further, I believe, but as we mentioned, kind of prefacing this, unfortunately, this isn't going to help every single weapon once again, because there is a finite number of weapons that you can get from the buy station within Champion Hill, and also, it seems like there's going to be a couple of different rotations of those, so unless they have multiple rotations where you can end up getting every single weapon weapon, and it's kind of on that random luck of the draw, you still might have one of those situations where just like the operators, it might come down to specific weapons that you can end up getting more benefit out of. But when it came to Champion Hill, the games that we played, I got 12 kills out of one single match within Champion Hill. It was a 12 minute match. We won it 12 kills. And the AS44 that I ended up using went from weapon level one with zero XP all the way up to just under weapon level 12. So almost one level per kill. That equates out to just under 8,000 XP if you round all those XP thresholds up. So 8,000 weapon XP is pretty solid for a 10 to 12 minute game here. Now you won't always get the same amount of weapon levels per completion in terms of Champion Hill and performance given that there are increasing thresholds for the XP needed to go from level to level as you rank up a weapon a little further. But it's still something that, especially for a quick little boost at the beginning, is incredible. To round out this video, we're going to talk about some ones that are a little bit more straightforward, some things that if you have them, you can absolutely use them. If not, you're not missing out on too much. Firstly, double weapon XP tokens. For those that ended up getting, say, the ultimate edition of the game, you ended up getting double weapon XP tokens. The digital versions, I think it was the cross-gen version that ended up coming with this, that came with double XP tokens, but if you're focused on weapon leveling, you got five of those, I believe, in the ultimate edition. So that's five hours here you can rank up a little bit further. You can also get those from things like Doritos and 
Mountain Dew for their double XP promotion with Call of Duty this year. You'll notice that your battle pass is tethered to the Black Ops Cold War Season 6 battle pass, so you can also end up getting double weapon XP tokens as you progress, given that there are a handful of Vanguard specific ones that are actually retroactive. So part of those 24 tiers or whatever it was that was granted for free with the Black Ops battle pass for Season 6 and where those Vanguard weapons first came into play a couple of weeks back, those are all retroactively earned. They were already banked on your account, so that also comes over as well. And I don't think that unlike what we mentioned yesterday, kind of talking about how this is probably going to happen in the future, I don't think that right now you can end up activating a double XP token in Warzone and it transfers over to Vanguard. Even though there is that shared progress and battle pass progression and your XP that you put towards your rank will be different from what you see displayed in Vanguard, but you also progress your rank in Warzone right now, I don't think that, that connection is there for double XP tokens just yet. So might want to hold on to those before burning those just in case it doesn't actually work, but that should work in the future. Additionally, if you are on PlayStation, you get that extra little bonus if you party up with friends on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, that'll give you a 25% weapon XP bonus. So that should also help shave off about an hour or two of grind time per weapon. Zombies, that's not worth it this time around, man. Unless they end up buffing the XP yields, it's just way too slow. The XP scaling in zombies and wave pacing, it's just not worth your time right now if you're going solely for ranking up your weapons. Now, luckily though, if none of these are your cup of tea, in the future we will see things coming up that helps progress this a little bit further. Maybe you don't complete every weapon by the time these happen, but if you don't, it helps you out greatly. We'll see double weapon XP events happening, of course, sometime in the near future. We have about at least one of those a month, as we've seen in the past two years within Call of Duty. And then PlayStation users on top of that get an additional 24 hours of access, part of that exclusivity deal with Sony. Not terrible, but also still exclusive stuff sucks. Then come the integration with season one and Warzone and Vanguard, you'll be able to contract farm things like you can in Plunder right now. Pick up things like supply runs and just go complete those contracts with the bonus XP scaling getting bigger every single time, helping you out even further. So that's some stuff you have to look forward to in the future. But for right now, there is a handful of things that can greatly help you out in ranking up those weapons that you may have. So that's where we're gonna wrap the video up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What weapons are you ranking up first? Are you ranking up your rifles, SMGs? Maybe you're getting some things that you don't normally do out of the way. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. If you feel we missed any tip here that can really help speed up your grind in the weapon XP, feel free to let me know down below as well. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a single thing regarding all things Vanguard. We have a ton of stuff here coming still, so make sure you stick it on the channel for everything over the course of the next days to weeks. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.